Records, Diamond Zinc TV, Cali Miss, G Dubs, another cipher it. for you, real quick. Hey, DJ, run that track. So, today we're going to hear to talk about whether it's not necessary to have a record deal or an independent record label. I, for one, have an independent record label. I want to talk about a few topics in terms of royalties and, like I said, whether or not you need an independent record label or a record label. So, to start it off with, Personally, nowadays, since it's new generation, it's 2015, in terms of music evolving and turning into something else, music as a whole is more it's easy to get your music out there. It's easy to sell your music. It's easy to sell yourself. It's easy to incorporate newer stuff without having the help of a label. That's what I've done myself. So what I realized is that it's safer in terms of for legal ways in terms of whether it's not to sign a contract or to keep an independent record label. So first off, I'd like to say the advantages to having an independent record label is for one, you get to keep all the earnings. Two, no one owns any ownership or any intellectual property to your work or in terms of the royalties. And three, it's more easy to stay out of, it's more easy to keep the, the label lasting longer because contracts end and contracts always don't always go the way people want them to go. And some people go into debt and run out and lose all their uh, money and royalties because of that. So today, I want to talk about a couple of royalty websites that I found independently that have changed my rap career, have changed my whole view on the music industry. And overall, I think that is, I think it's better for the music industry having these websites. It's kind of like a... A support system. So the two websites that I've just recently found out last year a little bit, but I've researched it more, is ASCAP and BMI and Sound Exchange. Now all three of those websites are royalty websites. ASCAP pays royalties on plays, music, downloads. BMI is performances. Now what I didn't understand was the royalty part in terms of what you're getting paid on. So basically, what I found out, which a lot of artists in the industry are doing, like Jay-Z, Kanye West, um, Cassidy, a whole bunch of them, they're all signing up for these websites, and they're making money through people playing, downloading, and sharing their music. And these websites are paying people quarterly. And so what that's doing is, it's making it so you don't have to rely on selling an album, or if you just make a hit single, you can easily just sell that and get paid off of royalties. So. What BMI has helped is, in terms of live performances, so for instance, when people go into the grocery store and they buy groceries and when they're walking through the aisles, they hear that music in the background. That music, that person that made that piece or those, that music is getting paid while it's being played in the grocery store because of BMI. BMI pays on public performances, so anything on the radio, TV, to even a live performance, you get paid. Same with ASCAP, they pay for SoundCloud and YouTube all through plays and downloads of websites. And with those, basically, it incorporates more, more I would say, probably more um, a better situation in terms of the music industry. You don't need to rely on anything but yourself. That's why I like the independent record label on the side of not having a contract and having to give out ownership to any of your work. Another big thing I've noticed is a lot of websites or a lot of people are selling the music independently. And independently would be like iTunes, that's an independent one, um, Spotify, some people are giving the music to Spotify and what they're doing is basically people are signing up for Spotify and they're getting plays and they're getting paid by the ASCAP and BMI, which is why Spotify is also a good way to incorporate your music because everybody has that app and that app is a, is a worldwide app. So if, you ha if anyone has that app on the phone, it's even on the computer, it's networking and you're, you're branding yourself out there to a wider range of a fan base. Which is why I think it's good that these websites are here for leverage to help people boost their career. Because a lot of people don't understand that, you know, you can just put a song up on SoundCloud and people will hear it, but you're supposed to get paid for that. And like that's the part that a lot of people don't understand are missing out 
And just like YouTube, you can do the same thing at YouTube in terms of monetization. Uh, you can monetize your account. Monetizing your account is basically when you hit a certain amount of views, you get paid for it. And that is how it should be, and that's how it's legally supposed to be done. Now with that, I've also been asked a couple of questions about what I've done this year, and in terms of my independent record label and what we've done to improve our members, uh, our music, networking, everything. Um, so to answer that, <laughs> we, um, we went to, I went to Chicago. Um, I've been doing a few records and I'm going to continue to keep doing songs with Chop Squad and some of their artists, including J-Rock and Little Dave. And in terms of that, that I feel is good networking because me and them have a good relationship and what we're doing is we're combining fan bases and it's making things more expanding in terms of fan base. So he's getting my fan base and I'm getting his and together we're making a lot of hits and records. And what that's done is basically through ASCAP and BMI, every time I get plays and he gets plays, we both get paid on that because of those websites, all independently. And what that does is breaks it out so I don't need a record label and that I could just do that instead. And with that, people also wanted to know also who are my top five producers and why. And I saw that because a lot of people have been asking me on Twitter. So for the people that want to know, my top producers are Lex Luger, Young Chop, Chop Squad DJ, and Tarantino and G-Dubs. And those, those producers have a lot in common. They also work a lot with each other and they're also signed. Well, most of them, two of them are, um, are work with Chief Keef and Glow Gang and they've been also expanding their own and starting their own independent record labels, which have, like I said, a lot of mainstream artists are doing nowadays, just like how French Montana has the Coke Boys, Young Chop has Chop Squad. And just like mine's, I have Diamond Zinc. And in terms of what we're doing is, we're making it so you won't need a label. And that's basically what the music industry is turning into. It's turning into an independent industry. So everybody's basically networking and sooner or later there's not gonna be no need for labels. And that's coming pretty soon. Just like how music is now going on the internet, people don't sell CDs as much because they're selling all their albums on iTunes. So basically it's a whole revolution and change in that a lot of people need to, I would say, do more research on the music they're making and the industry and what they're uploading and how they're trying to promote and sell their music because you can run into a lot of legal troubles and if you know what you're doing, you'll find it that it will be more or less stressful and you want to deal with a lot of people and figuring things out. Um, in terms of the future of Diamond Zinc, Diamond Zinc is hopefully going to keep growing as a group. I want to incorporate more artists and producers in my label. We have been starting to update and brand out our clothing line, which has been a good start for the 2015 going into 2016. And we've recently been incorporated more, more beats. The beats are made by G-Dubs and Soul. Both G-Dubs and Soul collaborate on beats and they're signed to my label. He also has a couple mixtapes out, and so does G-Dubs, Deadpool Dead Rising, and Soul Majestic EP, and Instrumentals by Soul. All those you can cop all on the Diamond Zinc Facebook page, YouTube, their Facebook page. And if you want to check out more of the songs and the records, you can go on to Diamond Zinc Reverb Nation, where I've posted all my mixtapes for free. And if you want, you can buy them. It's only 10 bucks per out for mixtape. Each mixtape should be about, well, on Reverb Nation it's 10 bucks. If you buy it on iTunes, it'll probably be 15. But in terms of, you can get it for free if you'd like, and including the Chop Squad records and the Young Chop records. So in terms of that, keep supporting, stay posted. We have more music coming soon, and just don't stop supporting. This is Diamond Zinc TV. Cali Miss G Dubs. Let's get it for you real quick. Hey DJ, run Young that track. Maker.